Welcome to session number eight. Today is our last meeting of our Life Tools group, and we're gonna be focusing on building healthy relationships. My name is Dr. Offenwicker, and I'm one of the facilitators of the Life Tools Youth Net group that your child participates in. Over the course of the past eight weeks, whether your child attended all or a few of the sessions, we believe that the tools we practice will help your child feel more capable in handling their emotions and their behavior. It's been my great pleasure to get to know your child and see them try out the ideas that we discussed. Thank you for having your child participate in the group and let's go over today's session. So the first thing that we did was we completed our settling in activities, focusing on that mindfulness, being aware and present in the moment. We then reviewed each summary of the tools and in the handout that you will receive, you'll also receive the summary of the tools that you can use and how you can use them at home. We went over how each child is vivid, valuable and perfect, vulnerable and mature and dependent we talked about our three good things and reviewed them. Talked about how our values are important and knowing the parts to ourselves. We talked about perspective taking and how our feelings can be very powerful. We noticed choosing optimism, mindful and unmindful behavior, and having an anger plan in place so we know how to handle and control our emotions in that time and also recognizing when we need a space to cool down. We reviewed those anger plans of stopping, breathing, and taking a break. Today, during our final session we talked about making repairs and building those healthy relationships. So being a vivid individual reminds us that we all make mistakes and we can make repairs to those mistakes. Making a repair is a critical life skill. When we have confidence that we can face our mistakes, we are more likely to do just that. We're not likely to hide from mistakes, which can lead to anxiety, sadness, dishonesty, avoidance, and ultimately more mistakes. So when we talk about making a repair, we talked about how it's quite simple, but it takes a lot of courage. So what we can do is a repair involves the three A's. Admit what you did, apologize for what you did, and amend or make up for it. So for example, it could go like this. If you're at home and your child breaks something, a repair could be like admitting it. Ugh, mom or dad, I'm sorry I dropped the dish and broke. Number two, apologizing. Huh? I'm sorry I did that. And number three, oh, I'd like to make up for that. What can I do? That's an example of using those three A's, admit, apologize, and amend. We also watched a very powerful video and reviewed a poster that we had about repairs. We watched the Adele Grammy film from February of a couple years ago, and it's an amazing example of a famous professional using those three A's, making those repairs in front of 23 million people live on TV. I attached the link in the handout summaries in the email, and I'd encourage you to watch it and notice what Adele did, what the audience did, and how they responded to her. Lastly, you play a huge role in helping your child learn that they can make repairs. When they have done something wrong, once they have calmed down and are ready to talk, you can require them to make the repair. Have confidence that they can do all three parts, admit, apologize, and amend, and require each part be made as part of the consequence for their misbehavior. Then, when they have made the repair, let them know that you see that they're responsible and took care of their mistake. Lastly, thank you again so much for having your child participate in our Life Tools Youth Net group. This is the conclusion of all eight sessions, and I just wanna let you know that it's again been my pleasure to work with your child and thank you for this great opportunity. Feel free to reach out to YouthNet or myself if you have any questions or concerns or would like any additional information. Thank you.